We have Mark and Kenny, and on the opposing side, um, scientist, cosmologist, Sarah Bosman. Uh, Martin, we, we have to go to you first of all. Why do you think it didn't happen? Well, uh, there's overwhelming proof um, that it didn't happen. Um, there's people researching uh, this topic a lot more. We're in the age of technology now. I think in the past, like you're saying, um, we had no way of verifying anything we were told. So we saw the moon landings, well, you saw the moon landings, and uh, you believed it, but there was no way for you to check any of it. And now we're in the age of technology, as you said, a lot of the young people believe that it was faked, and that's because they are now investigating for themselves. I find it very interesting, and we'll talk to, to Sarah in a minute about the scientific side that she believes, but for me personally, I just think far too many people would have had to, to cover, it up. cover up for far too many years well, how many people, to never have slipped up. How many people have supposedly gone beyond low Earth orbit, beyond 200 miles off the Earth? No idea. 24. The entire history of humanity. But what? But 24 what? people. So your point yes, is what, only 24. But, but so what, what I'm Ruth's saying, saying is, is there was a whole control centre, operations centre, backup control, all sorts of things. Do you know what happens in the rocket. finance department of ITV? In the no finance idea. department? No idea. Do you, know what happens, <laughs> do you know what happens in the executive office of ITV, right at the top. No, but if they somebody was covering nothing. something They up. tell you nothing, exactly. Yeah, but if so if something some... did happen... But if somebody's covering you... something up, yeah. everybody would have to cover it up. No, they wouldn't, because you would know Sarah, about what it. what do you think? Well, there are also a lot of engineers, of course, working on these for years and years. They had to come into their job every morning thinking they were developing a rocket. And that, that's thousands of people being involved in the development and the testing in the labs, people overseeing the labs. It's not only the 24 people who actually went off the Earth. It's, a, it's the whole organisation of NASA and the Apollo programme. The position of the sun, shadows, you will add, add to that, that today, using today's technology, you cannot see footprints, which you believe shouldn't have ever blown away. Yep. Well, here's the smoking gun. Here's yep. the smoking gun. We can argue all day long about, yep. you know, what I think, what we, we've never been to the moon. None of us have been, you know, below the surface, a certain sure. you know, altitude. Now, the only way we can discern whether this happened or not is by analysing and studying the actual data that was taken during those Apollo missions, right? The no, scientific that's data. True. That's not hold true. Hold on, hold on, let me finish, let me finish, right? So that's the telemetry data, right? So during those four years that they did the Apollo missions, they collected loads of data, you know, uh, biometrical data, uh, design blueprints, etc., etc. Right. To end this, if we had the data now, and we could scrutinize it, if we could test it, which yeah. is the scientific method, test it, it's observe not, it's not and research. <coughs> not only has it not been released, NASA destroyed it. Well, or lost Why it. would they have destroyed N NASA de well, it? Or well, well hang on, hang on. Donald Petit, Donald Petit, NASA astronaut and chemical engineer. This is a direct quote from him. There's a video of him actually saying this, and I quote, okay. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. The problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We right. used to, right, well, but right. we destroyed so the technology Sarah. and it's a painful process to build up again. Oh, You're in that context, absolutely. In that context, absolutely. I completely agree with him. The technology we had at the time was so ridiculously obsolete. There was nothing we could do with it anymore. It's like if you have a car from 60 years ago that was unique. If you try to repair all the parts one by one, it's going to take you way too much money. We don't run cars that way anymore. It was scrapped eventually because it was just too outdated. So, of course, it was destroyed, the technology in that sense. We don't have it anymore. It wouldn't run. But Sarah, um, we got the technology together to go there. Why haven't we been back since, is it, what, the 70s? I think it's, it comes down to the funding. I think uh, after America went to the moon a few times, the people in power uh, told the, the voters, uh, why are we spending all so much money on this? Why don't we elect a party who will put yeah. our taxes to do something else? And unfortunately, it was the last time in history where so much of your taxes went to science and research and technology. It's been cut down a lot, I think, mostly for political reasons. But you see, Martin actually believes what we think. Some people believe the moon's made of cheese. What do you think the moon is made of? What I know the moon is, it's a luminary. That's all I know. What, what it shines? It's a luminary, it's, it's, a, it's a luminary of some sort. So I can't go beyond that. And, you know, again, we're living in the age of technology, you know, you've got a P900 camera now you can buy for under a thousand pounds. Yeah. And you can zoom in to the moon. That's supposed to be, by the way, 238,000 miles away in deep dark space. And yet you can zoom in quite close in detail yeah, yeah. with a commercial camera. And people have taken photographs and images showing it sometimes translucent. 
you can see through it, right? Sometimes it's got something called a lunar wave. There are many videos showing the moon with a lunar wave. We don't know what that is. It's all a mystery. So you believe you couldn't possibly land on it because it's Absolutely not Absolutely not. If it isn't true, is he really doing any harm or is it just an interesting theory? There's nothing wrong with people lo looking at data themselves and looking at buying their own cameras and taking their own uh, data and so on. I think the main problem with the, the moon conspiracy is that the people involved that would have to cover it up now also involve people in Japan with this new satellite, people in Russia, people in Australia, who would all have to be covering up when they do this follow-up. Uh, America, why would they be covering up what America did 50 years ago? I mean, even Russia at the time admitted they were beaten in the space race, so they had the most reason yeah. to, to not believe the Americans. Yes, to blow the whistle on it all. Yeah.